The next step is how to organize your course, taking advantage of modules. So in Canvas, um, things sometimes get really confusing for students. If you're using different pages, if you're using different assignments, and you have different assignment categories, it can get really hard for students to navigate through Canvas. So one of the things that I highly recommend using are modules. You'll find them here on the left side of your screen. And modules basically allow you to package things into neat, specific areas. Now, I have not created a module yet, so it kind of is blank. I can click here to create a new module or click plus module up top. Both of them will allow me to create a module. And maybe you might have something that is specific for um, particular groups, because I know some of you might have all things for ninth graders like you might have you might see ninth tenth eleventh and twelfth all your students will be able to see modules so what i would recommend is maybe creating modules for particular grade levels or if you're doing things for particular topics like college application process or sat prep i have no idea what you guys are going to be doing but let's just say i'm going to do ninth grade and i'm going to add a module and then I'm going to add another one for 10th grade. If I can type in 10, 10th grade, add module. And you could add in different modules. Or maybe you just have like um, course registration. Because course registration might be something for all of your students. So what you can do is when you are putting together your assignments or your, your modules, you're packaging all the things that go into a particular category. So maybe for course registration info, I want to include that assignment with the counselor presentation. And maybe I want to include a page that I created that has resources about course registration. So to add to this particular module for course registration info, I'm going to click on the plus sign on the right. And I can check, I can add all these different things. I could add assignments, files, pages, discussions, text header, external tools. So I'm going to add an assignment, and I'm going to choose the counselor presentation. And I'm going to add that item. Now, let's see that that page that I created earlier, so I'm going to go to change it to page up here to add a page. And I have um, this SUHD Counseling PD, that was my homepage, but maybe I want the Naviance instructions here for some reason. I'm going to add an item. So now I have these things here. Maybe I want to separate this out and have headings within this module. I can click on a plus, go to add, and change it to text header. And so maybe I want to say something like, um, like course listings, I don't know. And maybe I have a couple documents about course listings, like the course handbook or whatever. I'm gonna say add item, and I can move that to the top, and I can indent these guys by clicking on the arrow, or the three dots on the right. I can increase indent on both of those, so it kind of creates um, indentation, which might make things easier to find. Now, you are gonna notice something interesting here. You're going to see that the Naviance Instructions webpage and the counselor presentation assignment have these green boxes checked. Where the course listings has this X'd out circle, same with the course registration module and the other modules. So when you see the green checkbox, that means it's published. When you see it like this, these are not published. So my students wouldn't be able to see these assignments here because the whole module isn't published. So you want to make sure that you publish the module, and that will publish things inside, or I can unpublish things if I want to take them out, but you have control over what is published and what is not published. Um, so this might not be published until it's time for course registration, but you can have it set up with assignments or different tasks inside and then just make it public for your students later. But modules allow you to organize your content so it's a little easier for students to find things.